I was cool, you know. Uh, Al's one of my favorite owners, so I was I was real excited to meet him. Um, you know, he, he definitely understood the relationship between gangster rap and his Raiders, and uh, you know his time in L.A. And uh, you know, he only granted me the interview I think because he knew I was a big time Raider fan. Um, so you know, it, it was it was smooth. You know, it was. Uh, I think he was very candid with his answers. I think it's a lot of information in here, uh, a lot of you know backdoor dealings that, that that we didn't know about that was going on. That uh, that he kind of you know let us know what was really going on back then. And uh, I appreciated him being real honest and candid about about the Raiders and, and his mistakes and his uh, you know and, and the fact that he's just willing if we get a stadium up. To uh, to bring them back, so you know what I mean. You know that's what I got to do when I get home is, is get this uh, get a stadium in LA campaign going. You know, so uh, it was cool to, to interview out. Where was You know everybody know Dr. Dre is the Wizard of Oz, and uh, we didn't have enough yellow brick roads to get to catch up to him. So uh, you know. But what's cool is that me and Dre, we talking about working on an NWA movie, a feature. So uh, he is in the mix. I've been in the studio with him earlier this week. So we working on Detox and, you know, so we, we, we in the mix. Uh, Dre's working on my album with me. So, uh, you know, we putting the band back together again. Oh yeah, you know, I think uh, the hip-hop culture period has, you know, whatever city you in, you repping, you repping that team. Uh, it's just kind of part of hip-hop, and I, I believe it's the, it's the reason that merchandise and music and stadiums and, you know, this mesh has come together is because, you know, we took it year-round, you know, we took it off of just... Uh, uh, a seasonal thing and made it a year-round thing and you know I, I suspect that it's happening all over the country uh, you know which is a shame that it got to go to the violent part of it but you know what's cool is that somebody can rep their city you know and, and it, it means a big deal that a sports team wins you know if you if you think about the Rams going to St. Louis and winning there uh, and then Nelly comes out right after that and you know would anybody really had been really looking at St. Louis in that same way if the Rams didn't win right before he dropped. So, you know, that's, that's kind of a way where you could see that the team could really affect the music coming out of the city. No, no, to be, to, to be honest, we never approached them for any money or anything like that. You know, those are those are his lyrics, that style, that's grace right there, you know. That's him seeing, that's b-boy shit right there, so. Um, as a football fan, I definitely identify Bo Jackson with the Raiders, and I was wondering if there's any dynamics behind the scenes of why he wasn't featured in this. Uh, no, no, not really, you know, it's just, uh, you know, we had a full slate of, of great people who were ready to jump in there, and he's just one that, that uh, was left off the slate a little bit, but you know, Bo knows everything, so you know. <laughs> we already knew what he was going to say, so. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you to the festival, thank you to ESPN, it was a great project. I want to say a special thanks to Arunima from ESPN and Kristen. And Our animators right here. Our animators. and everybody who helped us in this project. It was a great experience. Thank you for being the first audience to see it. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank Honey Lane's uh, Films, man. Y'all y'all did a lot of heavy lifting for us, and we appreciate it, man. Thank you. It airs May 11th. It is being Thank you.